it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and today is just going to be a quick digital planning tutorial. This is how to rearrange text, all the ins and outs of writing in your planner and making it work really smoothly and fluidly. There are a couple of text related things in GoodNotes that work really nicely for digital planning and so I want to share them with you. For one thing, there's a really cool eraser tool, especially if you're, you know, writing. If you hold that down and look up here at the little tool, it says erase entire stroke. And this I always keep on because it really helps you get rid of things fast. So you can see like it gets rid of the entire piece. You don't have to go over the whole thing. And so I love that feature to just have that eraser part on so that you could just really quickly wipe out whatever it is that you wrote. So that is a great trick and tip to use. Now, if you're just trying to move things around or maybe you wrote something too big, you can use the lasso tool. And if you click on the lasso tool a second time, you can make sure you're deselecting images and text boxes and just selecting your handwriting. So I wanna you know, select the whole piece and then I can put this wherever I want. And let's say if it's maybe too small, you can click on it again and resize it. Make it however you want. I really like that you get that opportunity to be able to mess around with the sizing or move things around. For this instance, it's a meal plan. I can swap things around by using this lasso tool just on the handwriting and say we didn't want scallop pasta that night. I could set it over here and say we're gonna have chicken wings this night, move this whole section up, reselect my scallop pasta and move things around like that. And it's really, really helpful for planning out things. Of course, I wanna keep it how it was <laughs> for my sake, but I really like this feature that you could just lasso your handwriting. It's really come in handy when I'm working on my time blocking and my to-do listing. I can just move things around like school gifts if I wanted that another day. Of course, it didn't get my T, but I can always just cross my T again or go back and redo it. And so you can move things up. If I wanted to put a space for something else, I can move these ones down and then I can write my next thing in that space. It gives you a lot of functionality that you wouldn't get in a paper planner, being able to move things around and delete things. And I really like this eraser tool, especially if it's something skinny like this. You can erase just that one line, get it out without having to worry about erasing the next piece. Another thing with that erase entire stroke thing, you can erase your highlight. Let's say you don't want something highlighted. You could just erase the highlight and it erases the whole highlight stroke without erasing your words underneath. Of course, if you try to erase like that, you'll start erasing your words as well. But if you just tap it on, you know, an edge, you can erase that. I think that's just a really killer feature of using GoodNotes. So you can erase things and you can see I have really liked to highlight things as they're done. You can see I really go crazy on the highlighting. I just really like that. I hope you guys like these quick little tips for using the text and being able to move things and erase things. I just found that these different little tweaks are really helpful in rearranging everything. It really makes this such a fluid and easy to use system, having these nice tools in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you like planner related videos and be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.